Welcome to Opening Doors for Baby. Its medical term is antenatal perineal massage. We're mimicking the massaging action of baby's head before the start of the birth, but without using a baby's head. So a less traumatic birth for baby and for mum, possibly saving brain cells for baby and pushing dementia and Parkinson's further into old age, which is what Muhammad Ali had from the trauma caused by boxing, early onset dementia and Parkinson's. And this statue is here to remind me, in my view, that women should remain beautiful and damaged by birth. So if we now go to the next, we minimize that. We have a Peruvian birth education clay figure. It appears in uh, Reducing the Fear of Birth in US Culture in Inime Gaskin's talk. Um, she effectively is a Nobel Prize winner who introduced midwives to the Amish of Pennsylvania and described the Gaskin maneuver that dislodges an impacted shoulder. So here we can see how super elastic the pelvic floor can be made to become where it, together with the overlying skin, moves out of the bony pelvis, maximising the opening for baby's head. How is this achieved? So if we just let this run a little bit, we have a Peruvian brass educational figure. Now we can clearly see that the brass figure shows the use of four fingers of both hands, index, middle, ring and little fingers to maximally widen the opening for baby of the lower tummy. Um, and then we'll go to our model. Here we have a model. This Here's the front, the symphysis pubis, and from here to here is roughly 10 centimeters diameter, which is the opening in the bony pelvis, and under the skin there is a pubo rectalis sling of muscle coming from the pubic bone around both the urethra, the birth canal, and the large bowel. So hence puborectalis sling. And the best time to make a uh, start on opening doors for baby or antenatal perineal massage, my view is 16 weeks. The skin is minimally pigmented and you can employ your partner. So after you've made love, he's used the withdrawal method. The glands, Bartholin's glands, either side will have produced lubricants lubricating fluid, the opening will have been widened and remain widened because of erectile tissue. So he'll be able to very gently place his index finger just this amount into the birth canal. So if you let your bottom just totally flop, totally relax and let your bottom flop on the bed, when he places the finger, ask him to gently pull backwards towards the spine. If you start feeling it uncomfortable, that's because the finger has now reached, as we can see, the maximum backward diameter, and that will be the tip of the spine. So you ask him to stop. And on the next occasion that you make love and you attempt birth canal widening, he initially starts with one finger, then inserts the other index finger, and then moves the index fingers apart, away from each other. And then the subsequent... Uh, time you use both index fingers and middle fingers of both hands backwards and then sideways and then following the following night after you make love you use index middle and ring fingers and likewise you pull sideways and then on the sixth night you using index middle ring and little fingers inserted into the birth canal and pulled to maximize that opening for baby's head so what is effectively achieved is that the fat underneath the skin 
of the labia majora either side of the opening of the births canal becomes massaged and displaced from the edge to the periphery from the edge to the periphery so the skin is transformed into paper thin skin very stretchy skin and also you're stretching the fibrous coats of the muscles that make the pelvic floor both the pelvic floor muscle which has an upper and uh, lower coat of fibrous tissue and the shelf the urogenital shelf which likewise has an upper and lower fibrous coat so you are stretching the four fibrous coats of the pelvic floor without using a baby's head preparing the lower part of the birth canal for baby to have a more gentler easier birth a shorter birth for both baby and mum if you prefer to do the massage yourself opening doors for baby oxford describes mum standing on a closed loo with one foot on a on the toilet seat of a closed loo gently placing her thumb into the opening pulling backwards on the next occasion using two thumbs to pull backwards and then following that using index fingers backwards index and ring fingers of both hands and then index ring and middle fingers of both hands and then all four fingers of both hands to widen that opening maximally for baby to 10 centimeters diameter before the start of the birth it must be painless if you're causing pain you're starting to tear the tissues and they will heal by scarring and scars shrink with time and that will narrow off the opening which is not what the technique is aimed to do after birth of baby the fibrous coats once that pelvic floor has let baby out and then closed back up to function as a pelvic floor again the fibrous coats will scar will become more rigid more fibrous and it the, f the pelvic floor muscles will become a very effective pelvic floor again so with the next birth you need to repeat birth opening doors for baby once it's achieved 10 centimeters keep repeating it every two weeks so the fibrous coats don't scar back up and whenever baby comes whether it's a 28 weeks 32 36 40 weeks 42 weeks then the tissues are elastic super elastic like knicker elastic and do not obstruct baby exiting mum's tummy but actually shorten that birth for mum so that is birth canal widening in a nutshell if we go back to our screen what else have we got was there anything else on Bird. oh yes there is a christian church which is a church in wales of the 11th century and birth educational figure we've missed it we're going back There's the birth educational figure. It's a birth educational figure in Wales, if we can find it again. My apologies. So we've got to concentrate this time. So here we have the Peruvian birth figure. This is the birth educational figure on 11th century Welsh church, clearly showing the use of four fingers of both hands. Um, and then if we go back to the next this, this one subsequent this is the Botticelli figure 
uh, Botticelli, the birth of Venus, uh, the goddess of love uh, coming out of the pearl shell, stretching. That reminds me that some women are ingenious and as you, as a man, you gently widen that opening for baby, they reward you by moaning and stretching, giving man their only foreplay, love and afterplay. And with the technique described by Oxford, one of our best university, Oxford, the brains of Britain. So thank you for watching. There will be part two describing of the problems of tearing and episiotomies.